Holy Spirit is a custodian of all the wisdom of God. And we are told that the things the eyes have not seen, ear has not heard, has not entered in the heart of any man. These are the things that God has kept for them that love him. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. That these are the things that God has prepared for them that love him. You are a lover of God. Then the Holy Spirit begins to reveal these things that the eyes have not seen. Things of wisdom. Verse 10 we are told. But God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things. Yeah, the deep things of God. So this wisdom will require you are walk with the Holy Spirit. He's the one to reveal to you. It is something you are revealed to. You are given by revelation. You are given by revelation. Daniel chapter 2, look at verse 17. Daniel chapter 2, verse 17. Then Daniel went to his house and made the king, the thing known to him, to Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. His, his friends, you know, that they would desire masses of, of the God of heaven concerning the secret. And that Daniel and his followers and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Keep moving. Then was a secret revealed unto Daniel in the night season. It is a revelation. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Look at that. It is something you are revealed to. Verse 23 of the same. Look at verse 23. Then he's lifting his voice to thank God for that revelation of wisdom. I thank thee and praise thee, O God, thou God of my fathers, who has given me, look, who has given me wisdom and might and has made known unto me now what we desire of thee. For thou hast now made known unto me the king's matter. You have given me wisdom. Father, I thank you. There was no way to get this wisdom. It is because you, Lord, you have given me a revelation. By who? By the Holy Spirit. So our fellowship with the Holy Spirit determines how far we can go in accessing the wisdom of God.